do a skit for April Fool's Day. But um, what just happened to me in the bathroom, maybe I can share with you guys. Um, I went to go potty to prep. You know, it's kind of the pre-game potty. You get nervous. You got to go tinkle. So I go sit down, and our kids, April Fool's joke, they put clear masking tape over the toilet. <laughs> just happened right before we, <laughs> we went live. How's that work out? You know, <laughs> I don't need to give details, but it's kind of how the last, you know, half an hour is gone. Lots of surprises already. But you guys, we're stoked to be here with you, and the purpose of this show, let's just hop into it, yeah? Well, I had a skit ready to go, <laughs> and then I heard you talking about April Fool's, and I said, that's out, because here comes the April Fool's joke that I was bringing in. So, we're going to stick to the script, and what we want to bring to you guys, we want to bring you in our house. We want to get comfortable doing this. Uh, this isn't easy, Are you comfortable but now? it's something that, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I, I wanted to do a little fun. I wanted to have some fun because I think we need to laugh right now. I think we need to play tricks on each other and do April Fool's jokes. <laughs> Please share those with us on social media. I'd love to see that stuff. Um, but we want to enter, you know, and bring you into our house and welcome you and show you kind of not only the things that we're doing right now with the with the coronavirus situation but things that we do on a day to day and some of the things that we've kept been able to keep on schedule with and some of the things that have fallen through the cracks and, and some of the new things that we're creating um, as far as uh, you know staying healthy staying active and doing all these things so it's really exciting and we want to stick together as a community, we want to bring you in our house. We want to hear your thoughts about all of this. And we're fired up. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. And we're going to be figuring this out as we go. Obviously, the production of this little show that will happen every single Wednesday from here on out is very low budge. <laughs> but there's a lot of heart and there's a lot of intention. And we were talking about it. It's like, why are we doing this? Um, a, you know, with this disruption, we have new opportunities. And we have new opportunities to kind of go out with the old in with the new. And I think in times of stress and chaos, um, it's really important to have a focus, you know. And one of the things that I'm noticing, um, I'm sure you are too, is that, you know, I'm so used to being on a schedule and my life is very regimented. And all of that is out the window because I can't go see my trainers. I don't have the beach to go to anymore to train. Um, our kids are at home instead of being at school from 8 to 3. And so what we have found ha that has provided sanity for us and our family is we really need to at least lock down two or three things each day so we have at least some sort of schedule and something to shoot for. Having an aim in life, especially in uncertainty, is so important. Yeah, and it rings truth, especially you can test it with your kids. You know that when your kids are on a schedule, they're the happiest they can be. I mean, maybe after school they're, they're a little grumpy because they're hungry and tired. But for the most part, if you flip the script and your kids aren't on a schedule and it's different every single day, I think as adults we're the same. So something we're trying to implement is to continue to stay on a script, a schedule that's consistent for our sanity right now and, and reading books and doing things and, and pushing those thoughts of what's happening right now out because you're out of control. Uh, it's out of your control to be able to control this virus and what's going on with it. And we're just able to stay on lockdown and have minimum, minimal time outside. And so we want to share those things with you as well as skills and drills. Um, you know, one thing we wanted to talk about too was the difference in comparison with Carrie and I and the, the athletes that we want to work with. Short, tall, skinny, chubby, whatever it is, we believe that it's all about the work ethic and the consistency and the drive that you have. It's that your height, everyone says, oh, that guy's never going to be, he's only 5'6", so he couldn't be a professional volleyball player. Or a girl that's, you know, 5'6", she's not going to be a pro because I of her see. height. So it's, um, that's dangerous territory, but we want, we want to express, if you're an elite athlete, become more elite and challenge yourself. Don't challenge it because someone that's, short or smaller, not as fast as you, oh, you're great because of that, and, and vice versa. If you're shorter and smaller, take up space. And Yeah, so something that we want to talk about also, um, you know, we're going to talk a lot of volley on this show. It's our lives. He's my coach. I'm an athlete. He's still an athlete. We're always striving to get better. 
Um, but in times like these, when things are so weird, we've been getting a lot of questions and that's gonna be part of the show. We wanna answer your questions because we really wanna engage with you. We wanna give you the information you want. We wanna give you our, share our, our experiences with you and our wisdom that we've earned through these experiences. But one question I keep getting over and over and over is how are you staying motivated? Um, for me as an Olympian, the Olympics have been pushed back a year. For Casey as a coach of an Olympic contending team, his whole mission that was supposed to you know, culminate with a gold medal August 7th, 2020 is now pushed back a year. For a lot of you guys, you know, your juniors, your, your tournaments are gone for the foreseeable future. Um, you know, you parents and, and adults, you're at home without you know, an office to go to. And so how do you stay motivated in these times and for me, it kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier is never lose sight of the aim. In this day and age, you know, we just, there's so many choices, there's so many things that can take our focus away. But for me, even though things are delayed and we have this pause that we cannot control, I have not lost sight of, this, lost sight of my aim. My aim is to be the best me I can be. My aim is to get ever more closer to my husband and intimacy and connection. Same thing with our children. And my aim is to win a gold medal. And so I can't do my normal things, but I stay close to my purpose. I stay close to my target. And that keeps the fire burning, even though my approach and my my you know options for doing that are limited right now. I make the most of what I have, and I carry on with all my heart. Yeah. It's, it's being creative, it's jumping out of the box and, and finding new things to do beyond that schedule. Yeah. There's a regiment and then there's a time of freedom and uh, imbalance. And it's, it's just something that we all have to do right now. It's a struggle for all of us. I mean, every single day, sometimes you pause and you're like, what, what, where are we? What is happening right now? This is nuts. So we want to connect with you guys and uh, we want to be, be helpful to the community and give insight on lessons that we've learned. The, the only thing that we can't teach is experience. But all the other things behind that, we can almost shorten the distance and success because of the things that we've done or experienced. And we can share it with you guys and teach you some of the things that our coaches have taught us and that some coaches didn't see in us. Um, whatever the situation, we're open and we're ready to share it with you and just give you the information that we've learned so that you can get up the mountain that much faster. And when you get to those scary positions and it's 15 all in the third game, we have little tricks for you. No. It is what it is. Yeah, and something that I just want to mention because P1440 is obviously who's hosting us on our YouTube channel and this is our baby. We have three children, a dog who you just saw named Cool Hand Luke and P1440, and P1440 means so much to us, and these Wednesday shows are going to be just a glimpse of why we started 1440. You know, Casey and I are, are so blessed, and the sport has given us so much, and we always talked about starting an academy where people can go, and we can share wisdom, we can get physical together, we can learn about mindfulness, you know, brain training, all these things, and then we can gift that to our community. And so P1440 is that. It's our community of experts, of leading edge, you know, best practices that we have. And um, we want to give that to you every single Wednesday. Case in point, um, you know, it's the coronavirus. Everyone's asking us, what do you, you guys are top athletes. I know your immune systems are on point at all times. You travel the world. What are some things that you do in this day and age with corona, but in general for your immunity? And we want to show you, we have no official partnership with these people, but we love these people. Um, Four Sigmatic. This is Casey's favorite, chocolate yeah. mushrooms. And, you know, we've been, I've been reading a lot about the coronavirus and how to obviously elevate your immune system or boost your immune system. And something that I learned is that what's helpful, since one of the things that's a symptom of this virus is that you get very heavy mucus in your lungs. And so they recommend sipping hot or warm water throughout the day because it dislodges the mu mucus. And for me, I how many hot drinks do I drink a day? 500. Too many. Yeah, there's about 500 drinks. <laughs> it's crazy. Day. And it's all for stigmatic or yes. layer superfood in my coffee. Um, but we love it. Yeah, this one is the, Im is the immune booster. Um, I was watching a show one time. Well, there's two situations. The lecture that Carrie and I went to, so all these experts that we've been able to rub shoulders with, um, Laird and Gabby had a superfood lecture with a guy that said, I'm not the guy that reads the book and tries something. I'm the guy that goes to Japan and picks it off the tree and tries it to see if it works. Um, Darren Olean. Darren Olean. And then he brought this out in little cups 
and I drank it, and I don't drink coffee, so I was like, wow, there's no caffeine, and I fell in love with it, and then I was watching an Alaska show where the guy lives in the mountain by himself, he hunts and kills off the land, and survives uh, for months and months, he, ever, he lives there, and so in the cold season, before the cold season hits, he's stirring this huge pot of this brown, sticky, gooey stuff, and it was chaga mushroom. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, that's the stuff I drink. The guy in the mountain that can't go to the doctor when he's sick, that can't do that, is taking this stuff. And this is just part of some of the things that we're going to be able to share with you on this live show during this time um, that we believe in and we're not endorsed by, you know, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we different. love this stuff. Yeah, and something else for immunity, um, just because we're parents, you know, and with all of this, I think the perspective shift that's happened in our lives um, is like what life comes down to, and life comes down to a family, you know, and the people who you hold most dear, and I feel like that's the blessing of all of this madness, is that it makes really clear what you want in life, and so health is so important, and we really, we strive every day to live healthy lives and to make healthy choices, um, and another company that we lean on that is so rad for the whole family is Standard Process. Um, Indiflex by Standard Process, Conjaflex, they have chewables for the kids, and um, pill form for the adults, and then Echinacea C also by Standard Process. Um, it's just incredible, you guys. We want you healthy, we want to flatten that curve, and you know, the world is changing. Obviously, it's a one world kind of notion right now, and viruses are gonna be coming, so the more that we can be proactive, with eating well, you know, focusing on recovery and sleep, and you know, nourishing our body with great supplements and real food, um, we're going to be able to, you know, stab off these uh, viruses much better. Um, the goal is to keep these at 14 minutes and 40 seconds. I think we're blowing past that right now. No, we're the, not. The goal. Sundance, come here. The goal is to answer Real questions, quick. to engage with you guys. Um, we'll precede the questions that we can answer. Um, and we also want to move with you guys. We want to take you through a volleyball drill or some type of movement that we do on a daily basis so that we can give you something to go try at home. Um, our Wi-Fi was not working outside, which is so sad. We had a whole setup out there, but um, we're so gonna we, dial in. Yeah, we're totally gonna get this dialed in. But so we have no no drill for you guys. But what we wanted to talk to you about is kind of aligned with that question we answered earlier about having an aim. The importance of having an aim in volleyball, it's important to know where you want the ball to go. So basically, knowing where your target is. And the drill that we were gonna do today basically was just set up set up a bucket, set up cones, whatever it is work on your jumps, you know, your jump serve toss and aim for the target. Work on your cutty, work on your deep line, whatever it is. Without you, even jumping. Without even jumping, you can, you can progress. We're really big fans of progressing. Um, so start at A, work your way through B and C, but the goal is to make every rep count, to do it like you would do it in a game, um, and to, again, know what you're aiming at. It's important in life. You can't hit the bullseye unless you know where it is, you know? We love you. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your time. Uh, send us some messages. Let us know what you would like to hear, what you would like to see on the show. And let's ride this out together. Yeah. God bless. Godspeed. God bless. Let's make the best of it. That's our duty. Take care.